Hello, everybody. So I, we're all here to honor and celebrate the life of this wonderful man. And I don't want to be redundant because just about everything I wanted to say, Robbie, you covered, and uh, <laughs> Pam, you covered. So there's really nothing left for me to say. So I'm just going to share a couple of thoughts. Um, I met Rin on a bus trip to Farm Sanctuary. And like others have said, it seems like I knew him before. Like he's always been in my life, and I've been a vegetarian now for 25 years and vegan for 18. And he's been such an integral part of the reason why I'm vegetarian. And the one thing I noticed about Rin is that he always had that special quality of really listening and responding to people and to questions from the audience. Although he was extremely intelligent and very introspective, he was never elitist or arrogant or condescending. And he really gave a great deal of thought to questions raised by people that were not aware of the issues. And I always really respected that. Um, he was very soft-spoken and was a wonderful advocate for the animals, as well as a great role model for all of us in the vegetarian community. He will be sorely missed. I'm uh, really missing him around New York City. I used to run into him all the time in Integral Yoga or in Union Square where he could be seen um, selling or even just giving out his latest edition of the Vegan Guide to New York City. And he was always more than willing to talk to anybody who didn't know and wanted to learn more. He was just a wonderful educator, very down to earth, and he took uh, complicated subjects and made them seem accessible to anybody who was willing to listen, willing to learn, willing to grow. So I just want to say, here is uh, one of his copies, the uh, New York City Guide, the late, one of his latest editions. I just want to say, here's to you, Ren. He's surely in heaven, probably distributing this amongst me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just want to say, um, may you rest in peace and rest assured that your spirit is still alive with us and that your inspiring, important words and, words and uh, works will never be forgotten. 